All right. <coughs> so we start with gas first. No scout. This is the quickest way to do the Marjorie. Gate after gas. You only start rallying into gas once you have 16 workers on your minerals. Then we rally, uh, once we're 19 out of 23, we start rallying towards the natural. We keep 2-3 in gas here. With this probe you build a nexus, you patrol it over here to build your cyber core as well. You can make a decision to scout with this one after cyber core or you can just send it back home. In this case we will scout with it. It's, it doesn't matter too much, you're gonna die against 12 pool anyway. So I can do much to stop it at this point. But you can survive against uh, proxy hatch if you scout it this time. So. There's one, bu one build extra you manage to survive against, which is okay. You, you take your your gas at 21, pile at 22. Once again, always keep 16 minerals, check if he has both expos. No, not yet. Gonna boost your adapt. I also like to chrono my... Uh, my stalker afterwards. I kind of want to see uh, all of his links go out of the natural. Most of the time they build four links. Well, in this case I can't. I want to prevent a run by into my main. The moment our natural finish, we take one guy out of gas. So we go 3-2 in gases basically. Like I said, we chrono the stalker. And once we can afford it, we build a twilight. Slight probe cut. Not very long. Our goal is to go up to 32 workers. So we just scout. We're just seeing if anything is extremely out of the ordinary. Most of the time you won't be able to see very much. We build a, a prison. And we rally it to the place where we know his overlord is. Most of the time. Right above your base. Okay. Right now we have 31 probes. And the 32nd probe will keep building forever. It is to fake that we're still building probes at this point. We also built uh, our third gate too fast actually right away. Shouldn't do that. You usually just finish your wall, then you create your immortal, and only after that you start adding gates. Once you have, uh, once, once you've mined 300 gas basically, so you can afford uh, your two immortals And you can afford your uh, your charge. You don't mine any more gas. And well, once the overlord is gone there, you don't need to fake building stuff anymore. You just build six or seven gates. Some people even build eight. I think uh, seven is fine. And from there on out, you just start adding pylons, pylons, pylons. Chrono one more on the immortal. Now there's a couple of things you can do. You can warp in your zealots here, which is what I like to do. So you have a little more zealots, but it can be more obvious as to what you're doing because you are moving out with those zealots. So he will know a little earlier. But you have a, a couple of extra zealots, which is nice. Well, all your chrono boost from this point on, one more on the chart, so it's in time. You want to hit around 455 for 450. It's a good timing to hit. You just start warping in. Then once your charge finishes, it's your time to go in. The way you want to micro is um, you're not really ang you're not you're never chasing him. So this is how you do it. You just basically hold position. Your immortals. And then whenever he comes in with his roaches, you send in your zealots for one charge wave, basically. And then you hope that that is enough. Most of the time it is fine. Holy sh 
But when you're fighting with your zealots, always all of your zealots should be there, obviously. Try to kill the queens when you can. Yeah, this is a win, obviously. It's some, some rather easy micro, actually. Like it's, I did nothing fancy here, right? I, I used hold position a couple of times. And I mean, this player is rather good. And he knew I was doing it because I did it last game as well. So, well, relatively easy win. Nothing to worry about, by the way. And this is how 90% of your games with this build will go. Extremely easy wins. Um, the build can be a little tricky to execute. It can be tricky to fake building the probes at the natural. But in general, it really is one of the strongest builds which requires a very specific response from the Zerg. Um, which it basically is you should skip the layer and stay at around 41 workers. And in that case, Zerg can hold it, unless they miss micro. So even with the perfect response, if you just out micro your opponent, you can still win. This is why it's one of the best builds. I hope you enjoyed this guide. And uh, yeah, that's it.